back thank you so much for clicking on my video today i have something that has been requested a couple times by you guys it is my food storage tour so if that's what you want to see definitely stick around all right you guys if you are new to my channel my name is nicole and i am a single mom to six children four of which are biological and two are my sweet foster girls so we do eat a lot of food here and i you know of course with the pandemic and everything that kind of happened it was pretty scary being on my own and not having access to a ton of food so just i don't know watching videos and seeing how other people kind of store their food that is what i do my way is not the way that i'm saying is the right way i'm actually probably doing it wrong and if you're looking close enough you can see the glisten on my face because i'm sweating my butt off i live in southern arizona it's hot as heck i'm in my garage and it is not air conditioned in here and it is hot so uh i'm probably not even supposed to store my food in here i don't know we don't really have anywhere else to <laughs> store it and we'll go through it so i don't feel like it'll be out here for very long so anyhow i am going to show you guys today this is my food storage and then i have some um paper product storage diaper storage that kind of stuff so we'll go through all of this and then i also have um an extra fridge and freezer and then i have my uh, deep freezer here as well this is all <laughs> foster kids clothes and things like that for when they come in different sizes and the rest of my gym is a disaster so we're just gonna ignore that right there okay sound good to you sounds good to me right <laughs> um this up here is if you watched my grocery haul it's my um overpriced bag of rolled oats up there i haven't even cracked into it yet reason being is i've got all of these guys right here and these i actually got from the food pantry that they were handing out for free these guys are good until next year. So I've got plenty of time on them and I use this a lot in my baking. Oh, those go pretty far back and then this is my favorite oatmeal right here. I don't eat it all the time but that's just a Costco bag or box size full of uh, what they offer there. So if we come around here, um, I've told you guys in my grocery hauls for this one and this one. I've been getting these for car trips and I just store them in a bag in my car for all of my kids when they tell me that they're hungry or they want a snack, which is daily. <laughs> so I'll just take like half of that out of there, put it in this bag that I leave in the car and call it a day. The only one that I don't do is these mini chocolate chip ones. I leave those inside because they will melt, but I really like the rest of the options because they don't melt. And then just a big old uh, box of popcorn there. And of course, this again is my outside storage. I have a pantry inside as well. Back up here, you guys, this is my toilet paper <laughs> um, storage right here. I mean, it's i think it's like two things from costco and then a couple of these i got during the pandemic when there was like nothing else available so just kind of grab those but we got a lot of butts to wipe so we definitely go through it um this is all i have left of a sam's club uh package worth of tissue there's only two little boxes we've had quite the amount of colds and that's going to drive me nuts that that fell down right there <laughs> but it is and also that i have the um cookies or crackers right there because i don't have anywhere else to put them but those are my paper towels and i don't use them very often um so they've lasted me quite a while so that's what's up there all over there is just decorations okay moving on so i did try to organize this and what i did over here is pasta now, if you're new to my channel, I have an almost 14 year old daughter who is vegan and she eats pasta probably daily, um, if not at least every other day. So we go through pasta like crazy 
here. Um, I will tell you, we don't go through this much lasagna, but it was an accident. I didn't uh, think that I had any. <laughs> so I bought another box and turns out I still had a whole box here. Um, but I've just got the different kind of pastas here. The Sam's Club spaghetti packs here. This is such a good value for these and we haven't cracked into them. And then behind, I haven't cracked into that coconut squash doll yet. Um, we are still working on the chana masala, which I love and highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. And then back there, I have um, two of the barilla, I don't know how to say it, barilla. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that come with some spaghetti and some noodles here as well. I think it's, yeah, like these six packs. I have two boxes of those back there so definitely good on pasta for a while uh our favorite rice aroni is this chicken one and you can get this at sam's club um this right here is the thai yellow curry i'm gonna be honest i still haven't tried it um but i have two boxes of those and then that's just the other box of pasta there let's put this back Oh, I am so short. This is making me stretch really, really far. <laughs> um, these were just something I think that my mom gave me. I love them though. Boil in a bag um, or just microwave in a bag is uh, hands down absolutely amazing. I don't notice the difference in taste at all. But this is the quinoa. So I just have two of those. This is the rice I'm talking about. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to keep that guy in stock because I absolutely love it. So that's just the Uncle Ben's jasmine rice there. I have some taco shells here. And this is all macaroni and cheese. This baby shark macaroni and cheese was on sale at Walmart for 50 cents. This macaroni and cheese was a pack of uh, six. And I, it was like two dollars or something is super cheap this is my daughter's favorite vegan um soup right here so i try to keep that stocked up for her she really really appreciates that and then let's see going over here this is kind of a mishmash it's not as pretty as i want it to be but i mean it is what it is i would love to replace all these plastic shells with these these are very expensive <laughs> and i needed one for all the cans so that's why that's metal and then these are not holding a ton of weight so anyhow um this right here is just a bin that i have of my jasmine rice i have like some um instant mashed potatoes in here my daughter really likes those and then i think i have like a bag of rice back there and there's nothing behind it these are our crackers then the kids would eat these up if i would let them i only let them have them if they're sick <laughs> So that's why they're in here, but they definitely go through them. So we love those kind of crackers here. This is just a bag of pretzels. We've got Cheez-Its, Nilla wafers. We're on a really, really good sale. And my kids love those. Of course, they go through phases because they're not eating them right now. Whatever. Um, big old box of fruit snacks here. This is more Nilla wafers. And I'm sure there's more crackers back there yet yeah, i've got goldfish back there and i think that is a big box of ritz <laughs> back there. actually there is something behind here it's my club cracker so we just don't have a lot of room in my pantry for all of um the crackers to bring them out here so i just leave them in here and i keep them uh, up and then moving along to this side, again, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as I would like it to be, but that is okay. Um, this is a bag of a gluten-free, oh my god, I really shoved it up there. Why am I taking it out? I don't know. Uh, these gluten-free crackers, <laughs> those are up there. Oh, I'm just, I'm making, you know, I'm making a mess. I shouldn't have done that. Anyways, this um, is from a discount grocery store that we have. It's not anywhere near close to me, but I wanted to try it out because of uh, Jay Muriel, uh, the mega mama. Um, she always goes to Sharp Shopper and I was like, I wonder if we have a Sharp Shopper. Well, we don't, but we have this discount store. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, this is a huge box of um, vanilla. I'm not even showing you. This is a huge box of vanilla animal cookies so it just doesn't it doesn't fit because back there i have the blue box is a big box of uh chips and then this is a big box of the popcorn chips that i haven't cracked into and, okay you know but, but,
We're just gonna ignore that, okay? All right, cool. Um, this is where I store all that Boom Chick Pop that we have. I have like four of those back here somewhere, and these are just chips. Um, so Sun Chips are here. These are like red lentil chips. Nobody in my house likes this, and I don't, I don't know who to donate it to. It's Pirate's Booty, but anyways, that's just some chips and stuff that are back there. Okay, moving on. I am sweating. Let me uh, take a little water break here. Oh, I'll show you over here real quick. This is uh, the drink station. <laughs> so try to keep waters on hand, um, Gatorade for the times when we get sick. And then I haven't had the chance to try these yet, but I did just put some in the fridge. So I will probably be trying them soon, but just to have different beverage options here. So those are stored over there. As far as canned goods are concerned, I feel like you don't have a ton, but definitely have enough to get by. So um, this canned chicken right here in particular was from me it was from the food box so this was uh, given to us so i've got that here to use up first but again as far as expiration you can see it's good through 2022 so um and then this is the costco chicken and this one is good well, 2023 so um, I've got a lot of rows of that. This chicken is really good for like chicken salad sandwiches, um, for just rolling in tacos. It's actually, it's actually really, really good. Um, but it's nice to have a meat option in a can in case anything happens to like the refrigerated chicken or fresh chicken, um, you can't get your hands on it. Um, so I do also get WIC, which I have explained to you guys is women and infant children. And with that, I do um, get fish and so i just stock up on this wild pink salmon from wild planet um so i've got a few in the pantry i'm the only one who will eat that so it doesn't get used up very quick um and then tuna as well um it's called skipjack tuna and then this was from Costco and it is the packaged tuna. I really like mixing that with some fresh avocado. Super easy lunch uh, to take if you're going to work or going just really anywhere and you need something quick. <laughs> um, soup, again, this is like for cold season. I mean, the kids could have it if they want, but it is too hot here. I am literally dripping sweat like crazy right now. Um, but this is like the healthy choice. There's um, the noodles and then there's rice ones in the back and then just chicken noodle soup here. Me and my youngest kids absolutely love olives. So I try to keep those heavily stocked. Coconut milk, just for that occasion when you need coconut milk. Most of the time I use this if I'm making like dairy free ice cream or something like that. Other than that, I don't typically use it very often, but um, so that's why I don't have a lot of it, just four cans. And then back here, I have these bags of beef jerky that I purchased, I think from Costco in one of my hauls. I do a lot of grocery hauls, guys, if you're ever interested in those, and I put a lot of them in the iCards too. But um, just something nice to have on hand, and I have pepperoni here as well. And then this is just kind of the milk area, the extras that I have. So unsweetened almond milk, unsweetened coconut milk, and I did stock up on this because it was on a really good sale. So I've got two more there and I have one more outside the door. I had it propping the door open, but everybody came home and so it's too loud. Um, and then oat milk as well, it's what you saw, I have another one over there. So we'll finish up this guy here and do the can. So of course we've got our tomatoes. Now I'm gonna be honest, nobody in my family is a big tomato fan, so I don't um, keep like a lot of tomato product. Um, I do make chilies and things of that nature, but again, nobody really likes the tomatoes in it. So, um, and I only make that during the winter, but we do still use tomatoes for certain things. And then my mom came over and shopped from <laughs> my store the other day and she took some diced tomatoes. And then I have um, these ones in the white cans up here are from the food box that was donated to me. 
So anyways, this is just like one Costco box. I think it comes with like 12 of diced tomatoes. So I got those there. It's just such a good price. And then tomato sauce. My daughter has been using this to make um, some Mexican homemade rice. Tomato paste. Just always need tomato paste and I never have it. So got a big one there. And as far as expiration, this uh, says, you're not going to be able to see it. I don't think that till 2023. So we got a ways on that tons of different spaghetti sauces we don't really discriminate um but this one which is the marinara from sam's club got lots of prego back there and classical i just pick up whatever i can because again my daughter eats pasta and spaghetti all the time so okay moving along um just some enchilada sauce here and some pizza sauce and then these were another thing from the food box that they gave us is just some peaches and I don't really purchase too much canned fruit so I just have it sitting here. And then I've got some vegetable broth, some chicken broth here. It goes pretty far back as well. Just stocked up on that. We use it all the time. These I still haven't found um, a use for, but I will. Um, and they're good for a while. So just uh, two things of artichoke carts there. What do we have back here? Uh, oh, salsa, okay. So that's my daughter's salsa. And then we've got mostly beans. Um, corn is the only canned vegetable that anybody in my house enjoys. I've even tried to give like canned peas or green beans to the baby and she's like, absolutely not. I just prefer frozen. Um, I know like in a pinch, you know, you would want that, but I, we really don't like it. And so I don't really want to store it, but um, I've got all these corns. It goes pretty far back. Um, I think I got a 12 pack from Sam's Club recently and then um, a 12 pack was from Costco as well. Um, the Bush's baked beans, some of our favorite here, the chili beans as well, refried beans we love. So that one goes all the way back and it's three, <laughs> three rows there. Northern beans, I mean, we're not really a fan of, but when you make chili, you know, you want some white beans in there. So we've got that. Black beans is what we eat the most of. And these cases I had got on sale at Walmart and these are like 25 cents a piece and they're good until 2023. So that is awesome there. And um, I will certainly grab more because my daughter eats probably three, four cans of these a week. Pinto beans right here. This is a bean that we'll eat on a regular basis with dinner. Just pair it with something, but also good in chili. Kidney beans are for um, chili. So those go um, decently far back, not terribly, but you buy like a case. Oh no, you know what I use these? I get wick. And so beans come on wick. So I just get like the beans, you know, that we use, um, black beans, all those kind of beans is what we use. And then garbanzo beans, this particular brand here was one that came in the food box. And then you can see it goes pretty far back. We use these all the time. Chickpeas, um, they're amazing. My vegan daughter and my little daughter, who will be one tomorrow, the uh, day that I upload this, um, she loves chickpeas as well. So, okay. Those, you guys, are all the cans. So, now the fun area. Yeah, these are probably all melted. You know, whatever. We don't care. Um, so, this is like the snack area just kind of all encompassing snacks i just don't have enough room to make multiple categories uh but these absolutely delicious mangoes oh my god these are so good dried mangoes is my favorite right there um the chewy bars this was like on sale i couldn't pass up that sale so i grabbed those and if you remember my addiction to sour patch kids there they are back there <laughs> i go through phases this is an ibotta deal buy one get one free so it's just um i don't know dynasty oreos i'm gonna be honest i'm not a smart person i don't know what that means um this is a lot of bars so um the cliff bars are like my favorite bars right now it was luna i'm just getting tired of them and uh these were on sale at that discount store that i got my um six-year-old absolutely loves these luna bars and then i just have like quite a bit of the cliff bars back here i have a big box of the fig newtons the more like kind of healthy ones fig bars over there and then all the way back there is a box of pop tarts so yeah i buy stuff that's sugary and i'm like yeah you know and then i don't want my kids to eat it <laughs> so i put it out there 
I know I'm horrible. This is an Ibotta deal. Uh, these little happy kids I actually got them for free or I got paid to take them out. Um, I was thinking of the baby with them. She's, I mean, she'll eat some. She doesn't really eat very much of it, but anyways, got those. Uh, these also were from that discount store. I think they were like a dollar uh, box. So I grabbed a couple of those. And then these kind bars right here are um, really good. They're a little hard because they were also from that discount store as well. This was just an Ibotta deal, so just like some snacks. Costco, I love these kind bars. Interrupted. Uh, anyways, this is uh, from Costco. I really like these. I just don't need any in my pantry right now because I have so many other things. Those are the um, kind bars that I got from that discount store. These were on clearance at Costco. I'm, are they melted? I don't know. Dark chocolate, vanilla, nut, and fruit. So I just have like a couple bags of those. Sometimes I just buy stuff that's on clearance and I leave it in here. And it, I mean, if my neighbor came over and they're like, oh, that looks good. I'm like, take it. You know, it's just those kind of things that I have. I don't necessarily always buy um, things just because we eat it or like we want it. Just, it's just to have something. Um, sometimes like, oh, we're going on a trip. Go grab that, um, you know, bag of snacks so something like that anyways um <laughs> there's also some more sour patches <laughs> back there uh these are for the baby i think they don't like have salt or something maybe it says 50 milligrams of sodium i don't really know but these were a dollar on ibotta i will link my ibotta code below if you don't know what it is it's a totally free app it doesn't cost you a penny to download it it actually helps me and you out if you download it and use it but it's free money um i've made over 500 dollars on uh that app just by buying the things that are on there at a, um at a discount and then it uh, gives you money back so it's pretty cool um okay so these were also i forgot about these i kind of want some um these are also at that discount store right here my daughter got into them um sugar wafers vanilla sugar wafers these are like the poofs and stuff for the baby, I had bought um, a Costco amount of these and that's kind of what I have left. Uh, nobody in my house really likes these, so here they sit. And um, peanuts, I got those also for car rides. Um, but they just last a really long time, so they're just back there for now. So that is pretty much like all the snack stuff that I've got. Cereal uh, seems to be never ending, but it's also because Wick I get think like eight boxes of cereal a month i don't get it every time i um just leave it on the card and don't use it because i just i don't we don't need it so that's like rice krispies kicks cheerios um plain life those kind of things um that's what you're gonna get on wick uh all the other cereals were like with a coupon or an ibotta or something like that so um all of these ones expire first and that is why they are up here but um we have plenty of cereal it is deep there are some yummy cereals back there as my kids call them <laughs> we i do let them have them every now and again um that's oops all berries that's one of my favorites back there but tons of rice krispies um and pokemon like marshmallow cereal or something is back there and then that is not all there is cereals up here as well that was a um wick like haul if you will right there but those don't expire until next year whereas all of these cereals expire this year and um we go through cereal so flipping much here so that'll get used up in no time so let's see okay i'm gonna pop a squat back on the floor here so applesauce just something to keep on hand my daughter uses it a lot in baking especially because she's vegan and i like to eat my pork chops with it it's my favorite and this is just back stock of honey right here it was a three pack from costco uh, all of this peanut butter was also from the food box that was given to us um so i've got kind of quite a bit back there but we've been using it up i also have one almond butter back there as well and then i've got some strawberry jam and some grape back there tons of ketchup when that's on sale i just grab it because the kids i don't like it but they go through it all of the kids like ketchup and i feel like they like ketchup on everything <laughs> this right here is just kind of some random things some raisins um some sunflower seeds my daughter went through a thing where she thought she was going to cook with those and she didn't there they sit um 
the almonds and the pistachios. I have two, a bag of each of these in the pantry already. These were also from the food box. And then we've just got some salt here and some cornstarch there. And then if we come down here, I've got just kind of the back stock of oils. So I think this is probably canola oil or vegetable oil and then the other right there. And then I've got this olive oil, some avocado oil. That avocado or that olive oil was on sale, so I picked it up too. So again, they last a long time. So those are my oils. And then back here, I have a lot of um, vegan, or at least for me, dairy-free, because I can't have dairy. Um, protein powder, these were all, I bought a deals. I bought them, and I think I got like six or seven dollars back for buying them, which is awesome. This is some teriyaki sauce, just it was a two pack of those, so I got those. I had a couple of these, but we go through them, I guess. <laughs> My boys uh, use the heck out of this Parmesan cheese. And then that is um, when you buy syrup, like pancake syrup at Costco, it comes in two huge tubs. And so that's just the other one. Um, the other one is in my fridge, which will go there next. Um, so I uh, didn't know I had so much barbecue sauce, but it was on sale and I'll use the heck out of it. So this is all barbecue sauce. You can see I have another two pack back there. Uh, A1, this was on sale at Sam's Club or Costco's the orange sauce. So I have that. I've got um, some buffalo sauce that doesn't have dairy in it. Uh, some um, dairy-free dressing, poppy seed dressing I really like. And then these are just like extra spices. Rosemary, I have thyme, I think this is parsley, uh, and taco seasoning is over there. And then I have some saran wrap over here. Um, this is just like the extra beverages and my big huge thing of rice that I don't have anywhere to put. All right, so anyways, these are just like extra beverages. So, okay, I've got more Otter Pops here. We have some in the freezer, so I don't need those yet. Um, just one last of the Kool-Aid. And then down here, I've got like some orange juices, some Capri Suns, some of that ice stuff, plant protein. This I actually have this opened. Um, there's some in my fridge right there. And then we just have uh, diapers and wipes. So I have um, two kids in diapers right now and one in pull-ups. So again, these are my body deals, you guys. I got this at like Target. Target had a coupon for $5 off, and then I bought it, had a coupon for $4 back. So I got $9 off of this. So I got this for like $15, which is a really good price for these good nights. And then same thing with the Easy Ups. It was an Ibotta deal. This was an Ibotta deal right here. This all good, $5 off. So $5 back from Ibotta, 24 something dollars, and I got them for 19 for um, that. So those are for Hannah the baby. This is not food storage, this is just all nursing stuff in bottles that she never used, <laughs> but um, there's that. And then a big old uh, Costco box of wipes. We go through so many of those. And these are my foster daughter's diapers down here. So I, of course, try to keep that guy pretty stocked up there. Up here, I do have a whole bunch of juice. Again, it's a wick thing. Um, I get like eight things of juice a month and all of the kids love juice. So that goes there. This right here is not sun chips. Um, it is a box of a whole bunch of colored goldfish and like super cheesy goldfish and my kids don't really like them. So unfortunately they're up there. I'm gonna find something to do with them. So <laughs> that is that. Let us quickly go into the fridge because this video is getting long. Uh, my thing stopped on me for some reason. <laughs> this is my extra fridge. So this is just kind of where I keep um, some cold beverages that I don't want to store in the fridge and just some extra things. So I get my extra eggs in here, um, extra milk. This is the milk that my kiddos drink. And then I've been making a lot of iced coffees uh, and I just, whichever one is on sale, I will grab that cold brew. And then um, all of like the drinks that you saw over there by my door, this is where I put them and I like to keep them cold. If we ever have company or anybody wants something to drink um, or just not feeling good, whatever. So Gatorades, Propels, Waters. Um, these are of course like, I don't like these kind of waters. And then of course my daughter doesn't like any of these flavors. So I'll find something to do with those. Um, got some Red Bull back there. This was really good from Trader Joe's. I only have one left. 
pretty tasty, honestly. Um, these, I wasn't the biggest fan of, but the kids don't mind them. They just taste like fake sugar, and I just don't like that. But that's big box from Costco, and like I said, I hadn't tried these yet. All these body armor, but I put one of each flavor in there. So, drink station, if you will. And then this is where I keep, like, all of these cold meats that I buy. You can, of course, freeze these, um, but... These are my best friend, absolutely hands down my best friend. Um, when I am like, not, I don't have anything taken out, you just take this, shove it in the microwave for like a couple minutes. <laughs> I thought something fell. Shove it in the microwave for a couple minutes. It's done. It's dinner. Um, in here, I just have so cheese is another thing I get on Wick, but um, so string cheese. Uh, the boys really like the string cheese, so I get that for them. Um, and then this is just some, I don't know, other cheese. A whole bunch of plant-based butter. I to go through it like crazy. My daughter is over here making noise. Children. Um, <laughs> obviously hamburger buns. I would love to store this in my freezer, but as you'll see in a moment, I don't have room. Um, and then these, uh, cinnamon rolls are amazing. They're, um, I forget, like fries brand or something, but they don't have any dairy in them. And those are awesome. And then I just have more water down there that you can't see because it's uh, clear. <laughs> All right, so we got more butter up here. I do have regular butter uh, for my kids that can have dairy. More vegan butter and more vegan butter and non-vegan butter. So just a lot of butter. <laughs> um, this is that creamer I'm always telling you about and I go through a lot of it. So I've got four in there right now. This is the orange juice that my kids like, and I get it when it's on sale at Costco in the big pack. So got some there. This is where I store that plant protein. Got it there. I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll drink it eventually. <laughs> um, some tofu that my daughter requested that she never used. Um, orange juice. My oldest loves his juice. Um, this is just, I only had three more of these and I didn't want to keep them in the box. Some wine that I should really probably crack into right now. Um, chocolate chips that are dairy free and a humongous thing of soy sauce that my daughter has made a beautiful mess with. So <laughs> that is what I have there and I will show you quickly. My freezer is not anywhere near as organized you guys, but let's go through it, why not? People like to know what people have. Um, I've got some yeast up here. Of course, this is, you know, pandemic mode of uh, when yeast wasn't available. So just keep it in the freezer. I've heard it's good there. Uh, this butter is also from um, the food box. So I have a bunch of it. So I just kept it in there. Some ground turkey. I like to buy my meat when it's on clearance um, and just freeze it. So ground turkey. And then we just have random stuff placed because I don't really have room. So these meats. I think, yeah, they were like um, on clearance for $1.50. Some more lunch meats, uh, some vegan ice cream. <laughs> um, these I got on Ibotta. These are like so expensive, but Ibotta was giving like $2 back on each bag. I've got some flour right there. More of that butter and some cool whip. Um, some ice creams. My mom got a whole bunch of these on Ibotta. I got those those i've been trying to give the kids those these i haven't tried yet i need to they are from trader joe's vegan cookies and cream vanilla bonbons do you guys remember bonbons oh my god so good this is a uh, strawberry ice cream we just don't like go through it um these have been going through like crazy uh and that's why i bought the otter pop one so i have those and then these are like mini tacos i think i just haven't eaten them uh, Trader Joe's mini tacos. So I got some of those. My freezer is mad that it's still open. Uh, <laughs> bagels here. This is all like the vegan meat for my daughter. Tilapia, salmon. This is kind of like the lunch area. So we've got some tater tots, pizza rolls. I've got pizza singles. This is orange chicken also hidden from my kids because they'll just eat it. And then some taquitos back there. This right here, what is this? Oh, yes, this is tamales um, that I bought in a pack from Costco. I have vegan cheeses just thrown everywhere. This is another I bought a deal. Get a really good price on it. Uh, some frozen hot dog buns back there. I don't even know what's behind. Any guesses? What is it? I don't know if I want to know. 
Oh, um, meals that I got from um, the food box. They're actually really good. And then in here, this is, I had potatoes that were going bad, so I made a whole bunch of mashed potatoes and I put them in the freezer. So yeah, I did that. And then we have a ton of just like frozen vegetables. And then like I said, I have <laughs> vegan cheese just literally thrown everywhere because it's expensive. And when I can get it on sale, I just grab it because otherwise it's like $6 a bag, which is just ridiculous. And with me and my daughter, stay, <laughs> close the door. Me and my daughter, um, that don't eat dairy. So, okay. Last but not least <laughs> is this guy. I guys, I don't I really, don't make me show you everything that's in here. It's a mess. It's a, the pit. Um, but it's got lots of really good stuff in here. Um, one shake left that I didn't make um, yet. <laughs> like pre-made shake. Uh, cheese, like I said, is another thing from Wick. I have had this in here forever. I don't like the yellow. We only buy the white now. <laughs> so that's, that'll probably stay there for a long time, unless I make enchiladas. Um, anyhow, uh, the review time, these are okay. I mean, they're okay. These are very good. Um, this is open. Let's see, this is what happens when you have children. Uh, <laughs> it's obviously so sad, but uh, not closed very well. Anyhow. Um, this I'm annoyed with. This was a free I bought us. So sometimes I bought a will give you free stuff. I ordered it um, for a mobile order at Fry's and then they came out and I was like, can I have my receipt? And they're like, oh, we don't give receipts anymore. Well, that's the thing I bought it. You gotta have a receipt. So that was annoying. And I don't even think my kid will eat them. So another bag of some chicken. We got corn on the cob. Oh my gosh. This, I mean, this is where I try to keep all the meat. This is a whole bunch of chicken taquitos. I've got some thighs. I've got frozen blueberries. Also from the food box. Oh, more cheese. More cheese. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, some more vegan meat. And oh, this. I think this. Oh, no. I don't know how it got in. So I'll be honest, I tried to keep this organized. I really did. It's so hard. It is really, really hard. This is only like a seven cubic feet or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know. But anyways, essentially we've got like pizzas in here. I don't come in here very often because I've just been using those quick meats. Um, but oh look, more vegan cheese. Um, so, oh, kind of hot dogs. I think we're doing hot dogs now. I just want something simple. Um, yogurt is another thing that I get a lot of from Wix. So I freeze those um, yogurt tubes. The kids really like those. But uh, anyway, um, I have not tried these yet. These are um, sweet potato french fries. So those might be good. And then this is also something that they were um, giving at the food box. It's um, egg product. You can tell how excited I am to try that. Um, but there it is. I've got some sausage. This is that chicken apple sausage, which is really good. So yeah, I just, I buy it like a lot of meat and a lot of like lunchy items and I just kind of toss those in here. Yeah, okay. It is so freaking hot in here. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> the sweat that is coming off of me. It's probably my food's not too happy out here either. I'll figure something out. But for now, it's fine. I've eaten the things that have been out here and it's fine. And we do, we, I do a rotation where um, I obviously like when I buy something new, I put it in the back and then pull from what's up front. So um, we go through it and uh, it just works for our family. I don't think anybody needs to have this much food or anything like that. Um, during the pandemic, uh, I was gifted uh, a lot of um, help with food monies. And so um, I used it to help other people and I used it to kind of build this stockpile here. And I felt for me and my family, 
that was what was best so if you have any negative comments please keep them to yourself it would be greatly appreciated but um anyways if you guys have any questions about anything that you saw or if there's any other videos that you would like to see definitely leave them in the comments below please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i thank you guys so much for supporting my channel it really really means a lot to me and uh, of course if you are interested in any kind of mommy content grocery hauls i do some days in the life things like that uh don't forget to subscribe so that's it i will see you guys in the next one i love you goodbye